On today's Church TechCast screencast show, setting up the stage display in ProPresenter 5. The Church TechCast screencast show is generously provided by viewers like you. Head over to patreon.com slash paulallencliff, that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-a-u-l-a-l-a-n-c-l-i-f and support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Every little bit helps. So head over and help out today. So before I get started, I just want to remind you that if you have any questions or comments about screencasts that you'd like in the future, don't hesitate to head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact and you can absolutely leave your question or comment there, or you'll find all the other contact information there as well, including my Twitter handle, Paul Allen Cliff, spelled the shortest possible way you can spell those three, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. Paul Allen Cliff is my Twitter handle, uh, same as the extension on the Patreon giving page. Also, uh, you can drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, and I'll absolutely get that. Or, if you're more of a telephone person, no problem, I've got you covered there as well. one eight seven seven pod echo one eight seven 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 six three three two four six. And again, if you need any of those things, you can either rewind or head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. So, I had a different topic in mind for today's show until last night when I got uh, a message from one of our satellite campuses asking how to set up the stage display. Now, we'd already seen the video where I showed how to format the stage display, but he hadn't actually seen how to set it up. So... I uh, pulled up ProPresenter and I just talked him through it. Basically, I'm going to pick up where the phone call picked up. So he already had the USB to VGA adapter. That was good. He had already installed the software to drive it. That was fine. He was getting a desktop image on this um uh, on this screen so that was fine too but the problem was every time he clicked enable stage display nothing happened on the stage display but what happened happened on his main display so he said Paul how do I fix this so let me show you how you fix it because it's really not that hard it's just a matter of getting it set up so here we are over in ProPresenter. Here, let me get over here and I'll activate that. Now, immediately above here is the menu. I've got it cut off because I'm trying to get the best resolution I can. So you click on ProPresenter 5. Again, this is the Mac version. And go down to Preferences. You can also do Command, Comma. Uh, I don't know what it is on the PC, probably Control, Comma. So we click on Preferences. Let me pull this over where you can see it better. And if you, with, with this the way that it is, um, once you get that third display, you should see three boxes here. I only have two because I don't have the USB to display adapter right now. But if I did, I would see these three, three boxes instead of two. And the third one would be just blank. The blank box is your control box. SD is for stage display. And out is for the main display out. Okay? So keep that in mind. Once you set this up, I would expect that you would see SD, out, and another one. It's the other one that you need to be concerned about. So... First off, I'm going to enable stage display with it as it is um, just as a default. 
and we'll see that the stage display will show up on this display right here. And there you go. So that is a bit of a problem. Now what you can't see is if you go down here to the lower left hand corner there is a little X that should show up and you click on that and that disables the stage display right now. So how do we get over this problem? Well, uh, what I would do is I would click on SD, short for stage display, and you'll see how behind that as I'm dragging is blue. Uh, the blue one is the control. So what I would do is I would drag this onto the other blank one. I don't have another blank one. So just for the sake of showing you how to do this, I'm going to drag this onto out, and out is going to shift over here to the blue one. So hang on. Now you'll notice right here I've already turned off the main out and that's because as I say I only have the the one uh, additional external display. So what I need to do is make sure that that's off and now I can um, Actually, take just a second to drag Wirecast over so that I still have control over it. Um, yeah, that will work. Okay. So now, uh, pull this back. Well, sorry. Okay. So now when I click Enable Stage Display, it should be on the secondary display. So I will click that and you'll notice it didn't take over here, but I need to switch over the camera so that you can actually see it. So let me do just that. I will go over here um, and switch over to this. And so you're seeing this right now. So this is my stage display. This isn't the default view. Remember uh, the other video, which if you haven't seen, head on over and take a look at it right now. You'll notice that I have set it up where it has the current time, has a video countdown, it has a place for the chord chart, it's got the current slide, and the next slide. Now this is lower resolution than you would normally see it. But just to keep that in mind, there's also the message box down here at the bottom. So this is kind of set up with a musician focus, but it also has this video countdown. Now let me show you what happens when I start a foreground video. So I'm going to... Uh, let me start a foreground video and... I, yeah, let me mute it before I do that, because otherwise you might hear it, and I don't want you to. So this is just a video of a previous um, video that I did, and you'll see that right here we have a live countdown of how long that video is. So this is really helpful in a couple of circumstances. First off, the producers can see how much time is left in the video. Secondly, since this is designed for the band to see, if there's a video immediately before their song, they can see, oh, I've got a video coming up, or the video will be done in seven minutes, 20 seconds so I know that I need to be on the stage ready to go when that reaches zero. So you see how that's very helpful. So in this satellite campus for example we do the video live, uh, well not live, we do a recorded video of the main campus's pastor preaching and so they could see, okay, the pastor is almost done here in the next few minutes. So that's 
actually very helpful.